let's talk about my next foray into the NetGalley audiobook app. Uh, I was listening to this book called His and Hers by Alice Feeney. I have not really read anything by Alice Feeney before, but when this book came up, I was interested not only because it's a newer book, but also because I wanted to experience how the author writes. And I have to say first and foremost that what I said in my video about the shadows, some of the things have been fixed. It no longer jumps around in the audiobook. If you push play, it's in the spot you were in before. My biggest problem right now is that if you get any notifications on your phone and you're listening to this on your phone, every time you get some kind of notification that pops up onto your screen, it will stop the book and you have to go back in there and press play. So that's a little annoying. I hope they fix that, but getting better Netflix, Netflix. <laughs> it's getting better NetGalley, so we're, we're, we're happy with that. So what you really need right now is something that says on Messenger, I'm reading a book. Yeah, or turn off my notifications. But. So that being said, let's talk about his and hers. It is the story of a murder that happens in, obviously, that's what most of these books are, uh, happens in this town where the main character, the her, she has worked her way into being a journalist, a female journalist. She got herself into like an anchor position, but only temporarily. Because the person who had that position before her went off on maternity leave. Now she's back, and so the main character gets demoted. Oh. Kind of. Um, but she has decided that she is going to go and cover this murder that happens in her hometown. And so she gets there and realizes that she knows the person who has been murdered from her childhood. And it's a kind of a traumatic childhood, as they are. <laughs> The his in this talks about the detective who is also covering this case. I don't normally like detective novels, it's like same old, same old to me. But in this case, the detective also has a connection not only to the dead person, but also to the her. Because guess what? They were married and now they're divorced. His and hers. You get it? You get it? His and hers. Murder. There's also a number three person who is uh, part of this book, and that is the killer themselves they speak a child no no they speak in a distorted voice so i'm listening to it on audiobook there is one girl clearly a girl one guy clearly a guy and distorted voice person i don't i can't tell if it's a man or a woman who is actually speaking the distorted voice nor can i tell you because that's spoiling everything later um it is interesting as more murders happen throughout this book. Having that third person there means that we're probably going to be hearing things from the... That's the killer, you say? Yes, and you know it right, right from the beginning. They said that, that they killed... That can be really interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I really do like some of those where you know it's not a who done it, but how catch them kind of story where we know right. who did it it's how did they get caught right first i'm going to talk about the audiobook itself the narrators were very good but like i said i listen to my audiobooks at a higher uh speed the woman narrator was great she spoke slow enough at a regular speed that when i uh decided to bump her up a little bit she was still speaking very clearly i understood from her point of view the man narrator, however, was always speaking a little too fast, so when I bumped him up for the woman, he was a little too fast for me, but I still got it. I, I just wish he had slowed down a little bit. Then, <laughs> the killer narrator was very hard to understand because of the voice distorter, which they actually talk about where they get the voice distorter, like, halfway through. So they do explain why that's what they're using. And it was hard, it was really hard for me to hear. It was like, right before I hear my heart. You know, so I, I had a hard time listening to it until probably about the middle. Actually, to be perfectly honest, the whole first half of this book was a snooze fest. I did not know how I was going to get through it, honestly. When I got to the middle of the book, it started to pick up speed to a point where it got to the end and I was like, oh, this book is great. 
first half of the book, not really happy with it. So, if you can get past the first part of the book, you're golden. It's a great, it's a great story. It, it, it is great when they, how they reveal be, who it is because they really lead you in every direction possible, really. I gave this book three stars, though, just because the first part of the book was so slow. I, like, almost, I just, I, it was hard. It was hard. Because it was, like, exposition upon exposition upon describing them over and over again. I just, I, I just had, a, I had a tough time personally. If I was reading it, I probably would have less of a tough time. But I think it was just the audiobook was a little harder for me. Okay. okay. So thank you so much for listening to our review of His and Hers. But until next time.